Before the advent of this technology, augmented reality, spine surgery was relatively archaic. We would use larger incisions, we would have to use uh, x-ray technology to determine what levels we would be operating on. When we're in the operating room and the patient is ready for surgery, we make a tiny incision and put a tiny clamp with little markers called fiducials. After that, we get an intraoperative CT scan and the CT image then communicates with a special headset. That allows us to virtually get to the diseased spine without us even making an incision. This process takes no more than 10 minutes. It's just a beautiful rendition and orchestration of the spinal bones and the spinal anatomy. And the beauty of the technology is I can see the spine in 3D, I can see the spine in 2D, in various different cuts, various different slices, it gives us great knowledge and great anatomy to be able to plan our surgery. And that allows such incredible precision of spine surgery that uh, I think this is uh, uh, really the, the gamification of medicine and that's where we're going in spine surgery. Once we're done, we get a secondary scan, a CT scan, that shows us what we've done and that too gets fed into our augmented reality um, headsets, and thus we can in real time see what we've achieved or if we need to add any more elements of surgery that can help our patients. That all speaks to a larger pyramid of change in the OR that can lead to decreased OR times, that can lead to decreased anesthetic load, that can lead to decreased medication and opioid use, that can lead to greater ability for patients to heal from original ways of doing spine surgery where they can get out of bed sooner, they can start doing rehab sooner. Those are the gratifying moments that I think we all have. I just think augmented reality is going to lead us to a safer place in spine surgery as well.